Yo, what's up guys? It's Zach. Welcome back to the channel. Today we've got some PvP Panther stuff finally. Uh, so I took it out on a roam a few weeks ago. Well, maybe even like more than a month ago now. And I just wanted to show you guys like all the stuff that really happened during that roam. It was only like an hour long or something and we got a few like kills where you could say obviously because the Panther's made for gank and it's basically just like a Black Ops tornado sort of thing. But we did get a pretty good like sort of semi good fight slash skirmish towards the end. So what I thought I would do, I would just go from start to finish and we'll show you guys what actually happened because it's like, like I say, a typical roam where you're going to be just coming across random things. So uh, obviously there was me and the Panther and we had uh, my corp leaders, Luca and Tian in the tackle ship. So was, they, those guys were literally tackling, no DPS and I was just like the, the blap DPS coming in. So yeah, we're pretty good. We're, none of us died, so I'll give you a bit of a spoiler, but there's there's no like mad elite PvP here, but it, like I say, just the first time I took it out, and yeah, let's uh, take a look at what happened. Alright, just want to point out a few mistakes on this first clip, and then we'll get to the, the null sec stuff, so a couple of mistakes here. I did land on this interceptor who I'd, I'd seen coming in to pick up the panther, so this guy was going to be pretty much easy kill. He was sat there at zero with his uh, Mala buddy. But a couple of mistakes, you can say I'm overheating the artilleries and you don't actually gain any more alpha damage from overheating. You just gain fire rate, so the guy was going to die in one shot, so there was no need to like waste me heat doing that. So that was mistake number one. You'll probably say he's doing that quite a lot because you're just used to overheating your guns, like as a general rule, right? And uh, yeah, it just costs you a bit of paste. I wasn't really in any danger of overheating my guns or anything, but... Uh, so I overheated the guns, didn't align. Would have been a bit spicy if that guy had a come for us, but he was pretty cool. He was a bit of a fan of the channel, so yeah, thanks for being cool, mate. It was nice. All right, next up, we're yeeted into period basis, and I was lurking like one jump behind, and Luca and Tien were doing the scanning ahead. So bear in mind, guys, the, like Luca and Tien were really new at this, so they were a little bit nervous, but that was like really fun for me because uh, I was putting these guys right in the like uncomfortable zone. So yeah, but they did really well, so we got some nice kills. They did grab this Iteron, who just got instantly blapped there. So I line out, again I was overheating the guns for some reason, so that's just a, literally a bad habit I need to get out of. But there was quite a few people in local, so at the start we weren't sure if the Iteron was going to be bad or not, and yeah, it turned out he was just uh, full of MTUs for some reason. But yeah, that was a successful first kill, and then we just disappear. Right, a few more jumps ahead guys, we did find an Ishtar who was just doing gate to gate, so he's obviously travelling to his ratting system or his headquarters or whatnot. Look and Tien call out that they've got him pointed and he's got some pimp drones. I'm going to leave some live comms on for this, just to see what you guys think as how it rolls out in real time. I'm landing on the gate right now. And I don't want to lose him because he has mutated drones. I've got him. Very point. Right, pull the drones out. Okay, the drones are out. They are following me, but they cannot nice. take me. Wait, I'm just jumping in right I'm... now. Oh, let's do this. This is, this is nice. This is very nice. Hey, drones are trying to follow me now. I'm going in closer for a scram. Shot once. Looks like he's. Yeah, I'm ready off, Zach. Oh, no, no. Oh, yeah. Oh, look at that. Oh. Holy shit. Next one, I'll get him. Someone followed us, someone followed us. I'm ready off, All good. Chill, chill, chill. There he is. That's it. So a couple of things there, I wasn't really paying attention to the vector on the first shot, that's why we just got a grazing hit. Um, really need to keep an eye on that going forward as I'm using the panther a lot more. And also the, the kill mail on this guy was pretty spicy as well, dropped quite a lot of loot and that afterburner actually sold or was worth around four, 500 mil or something. So really nice kill all in all. Okay, I just want to point out the obvious mistake. I uh, warped to zero on the fleet instead of warping to like 50 or something. So again, just learning from me mistakes here. It's really important to watch your clips, especially if you're doing PvP and you're like recording all the stuff all the time. Watch your fights back because you will pick up like things that you did wrong that you might not have noticed during the, the fight itself. Really good way to learn how to, to get used to something. And that's really what I was doing here. So I'm reacting live to these clips right now. So 
I'm going to learn next time that I don't need to overheat as much unless I'm fighting big stuff. And uh, yeah, just manage me range, manage me alignment, and just get some really big hits on there. So yeah, back to when pop anyway, which was good. Okay, guys, this is the last clip. It's pretty much a, a longer fight here, so I'll not put any of the silly sound effects in or it'll just get annoying, pretty much. But uh, Uncloaked had such a dangerous range to this Praxis here. He was like well within MJD range. And when I did look, which I'm glad I did, he was actually MJD in. So I MJD too. And luckily I cross MJD'd him, which was uh, pretty cool. So get myself safe. Although he could have had a point on if he had his pre-locked. I did notice there for, for like a second or two. But uh, I think I would have been able to get away pretty much easy anyway, to be honest. Like no webs at that range, right? It would just be a long point. So MWD cloak just to get a little bit speed, but I sort of fumbled the, the speed there because I didn't switch the cloak off quick enough. So I need to keep an eye on that too. Little heck it comes in here. A little bit of backup. There was quite a few nerds in the system, so we're expecting like tons of ships to come in. And Luca and Tien doing a really good job at holding that Praxis there. Unfortunately, the heck it does manage to get out, I think, in about a second, just before my gun cycles again. So obviously he got uh, scared by getting early one shot. Back on the Praxis here. And this guy was pretty tanky, even though he was like a single Ansel rep. He's obviously plated it up with the, the bonus from the, the plates now with the battleships and things. So I tried to angle myself within about 60 to 70 of them, just in case he decided to MJD again. So I'd be safe like at that range, you know. But uh, we start chunking them pretty well. See the points in there by Luger and Tain. Did really well for the first time, like tackling and null sec pretty much, I would say. So well done to those guys. A lot of fun again. Taking people out for the first time in nulls, like such a good experience for me. Now we're getting some big chunks on him there. I think we're discussing on comms, like we thought he was buffer fit, but we've seen the reps going there. And I'm pretty sure it was just one. So he's probably like just one big ANSI and one big plate or something just to keep that buffer up. And obviously the Praxis has got like a flat resistance profile, just like the Gnosis and stuff. So he's a, he's a pretty chunk. But man, we started doing some really good hits here. And I think he... He does MJD like in one second and we do lose point, which is pretty much unfortunate because I think we could have had this guy killed once he ran out of cap boosters or whatnot. And uh, I probably would have closed the range. I was thinking about moving in a bit closer anyway just to get some like more damage on. But yeah, there he goes. And he warps out. So that was, that was a bit unfortunate, but a good little skirmish and a good little bit of a learning experience for the guys there so we need to keep watch out for mjds and like just be prepared for when that happens to try and burn in the direction and then a random hurricane comes in which would have been really good to get as well but me gun cycle on him he doesn't take any damage and then he just like instantly warps out <laughs> so yeah that was a, a the longer fight the, the pretty much the the last clip of the video as well guys all in all, and still lots to learn for the Panther. And man, we need to take this thing out more and take some backup, like some extra tackle and some long range webs and things. I think it could really just melt some faces in a small gang format. Really enjoy it. I'd love to take it into an ASS as well, but obviously fit around the afterburner sort of style or do the bell ring where you can just like orbit the bubble and stuff. But yeah, pretty good. Um, hope you enjoyed it, guys. There's going to be tons more PvP footage coming from the, the Corp stuff. We've got like some Corp videos to come. And yeah, it's just been a wild ride this past month. Been really enjoying the guys in Black Phoenix Rising. Definitely recommend the call if you're looking for somewhere. And um, we'll catch you in the next one.